Beef Edge. Beef's Edge. <laughs> what? What do you want, Silas, huh? They jumped you, dude. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Fuck you. They jumped my ass. They took my ass, man. <laughs> they took my ass. I can't shit now, man. It's fucked up. Uh oh, wool. <laughs> What did you do, Aiden, if I put caulk in your, in your ass crack and it became smooth? <laughs> you like sanded it down like the ramen videos. Yeah, you put you put ramen and in, in 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 caulk in your ass so that it, so it was, there was no crack anymore. Alright, alright, this, this, this move sucks. This little spin maneuver sucks, dick. You're like, avoiding the question. You can't <laughs> shit anywhere, Aiden. Are you gonna like drill, like get a drill bit and drill into it? Dude, cock's not that gonna, easy to break. Are you just gonna like I mean, shit really that, hard and that, hope it breaks it's, off? It's really easy to break. Cock's really easy to break. Okay, yeah, I don't but know there's anymore. ramen in there too. Like there's ramen and cock, and like we sand it over it so it looks. It's like it's, it's really not that hard to break. We also guys. hid like money and coins in it. <laughs> Dude, you can spin jitsu now. Okay, okay, Bubby. Okay. I hate Bob's Burgers so much. Why? I just don't like it. <laughs> Every episode is like the exact fucking same. Where like, where like, like they're they're at the they're at the the restaurant, right? And um, some like person comes in and Ow, they've got the they're fuck? like, <laughs> what the god? Some person comes in like Teddy or something. They're like Bob, there's this new thing you gotta try. There's this new I've got this new crazy I do D, and he's like, uh, I don't know about the uh, I don't know the so I don't, I don't know. And then Linda's like, Oh, Bubby, that sounds fun. That sounds like a great idea. He's like, Oh, fine, I guess. And then the B plot is that the kids are like at odds with like a weird adult for some reason, and they, there's like a like a weird confrontation at the end. And then it like ends very anticlimactically where they're like, Maybe we shouldn't do this, even though that whatever that was would have been like a way more interesting like thing to do. And then Tina likes a boy, and there's a song usually about the boy. Um, that's like every goddamn episode. How many episodes well, have you Fuck watched? You. Um, this hatred only comes from like if you've watched like thousands of episodes. Every episode I've seen is like almost exactly that. I, used to, I mean, yeah, I've seen a lot of Bob's Burgers. It used to be like on. I used to like watch Fox and shit. No, no, motherfucker, no! God, I can't see shit, man. Why didn't you, th why didn't you throw your spear at him? Because the spear does jack shit. Boy. Didn't you used to call your mom Bob's Burgers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why'd you do that? It was funny. It's a funny name. <laughs> Give me the shot glass. Ooh. Yeah, no, the spear doesn't actually pull you or anything unless you have like a. No, I mean, why didn't you, why didn't you throw it at him? Because he, it does he no had like, damage. He had like one health left. It, it, it does no damage. Oh, literally, okay. It's not that I'm not trying, Damien. I, 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 I just thought that you admitted I did like very well. Aiden, you, you shouldn't lose to this crab. You guys have the same armor. You're at least evenly matched. All right, this on the other hand. Shell shocked. Aiden, if you entered the um the other world tournament and um your opponent was a was a was a dark version of you, do you think you could beat him? You heard me. Could you beat other world tournament or the other? Other. Could you beat ne uh, Nega Ka or Nega Aiden? That guy's got a new shell. Don't don't throw him off the edge. Well, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like a good old American burger right now. I don't know why. I feel like uh, my face is itchy. I'm feeling I'm feeling an all American hot dog right now, personally. I'm feeling like an all American boy. Hey, hey. Born in the USA. Born in the USA. Hey, what if we like took your face off and replaced it with Caden's and we replaced his face with yours? But you kept the same noses, like we like God on the nose, so you, you got to keep your nose. Fuck yeah, these crabs! They were at one health. They can fuck me. You also changed like half your hair, so you got, like we cut it like the hair down the middle, and you got like half his hair, but I don't, still half. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. What do you guys think is the more? I can only handle like a certain amount of like weird hypo hypotheticals <laughs> before my brain just ignores all of them. Who do you think we can convince more uh, to do this? Do you think we can convince? Uh, Ashley to convince Caden to be bald, or uh, Caden to convince Ashley to be bald? I bet we... Hmm. Good question. I feel like Ashley would go bald over Caden. 
yeah, I could see him being like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, and then she's just like, yeah, I just, you know, I thought, I, you know, I thought it looked good. <laughs> I can see that that reality. Well, I, I want. Uh, I just like the idea of Caden being bald for whatever reason after all that hair. That one Photoshop where you like like gave him like a like a monk's haircut is really good. Aiden, the pufferfish is dangerous. It's actually poisonous. You know how you like you can like eat pufferfish if you like cook it a certain way. Yeah. How many people had to die before they like found out like the right method? Do you think? It's not even that, it's just like, how are they that stubborn? It's like, this, we've gotta find a way to eat this. This has to be the fish I wanna eat. I wanna eat this, you guys just don't get it. It's like, like a bunch of people who are like stranded on an island and then like, they're like, like Jerry, this is Jerry, the only no. fish for miles. We have to figure out how to eat it. <laughs> I imagine it was because, I'm, okay, I imagine what happened is that somebody cooked and ate it and did it perfectly the first time. They did it somehow perfectly and didn't die. No, and no, they, 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 they took, they took a puffer fish and like divvied, it up, divvied all the, the pieces among like a group of people, and only one of them didn't die. And he's like, "What the fuck? How? What? What? What piece was it? Damn it! We didn't keep track." I like the idea that somebody prepared and cooked it perfectly the first time, and everybody's like, "No, you can't eat that. That kills you." And he's like, "No way! No, Let me try." And he like he keeps failing until he finally. That's his character. Arc. At the end of the story, he he perfects it. Don't die to the fucking seahorse, they get pregnant. The males get pregnant. You wanna get pregnant as a male? This is the future Biden wants. Aiden, if you got boy pregnant, what would you do? If you got male preggers, what would you do? I'm <laughs> sorry, if someone, if someone, if someone shipped you with the, um, with the, with the, with one of the other male side characters, and and they they drew you guys, and you were pregnant, what would you do? <laughs> Can we name this episode? Uh, Aiden gets boy pregnant. <laughs> I was just say Aiden gets impregnated, and uh, we we change the font for this one episode, like Emperor's New Groove, and say Aiden gets impregnated. <laughs> What I would do in that situation. This is three hours and 17 minutes of this nonsense. This fucking nonsense. This fucking nonsense. I'm just here to have a nice time. I didn't dodge the game. I don't. I'm just here to have a nice day with my wife. I'm just to have a nice day with my wife. What are you explaining? Uh, explain these uh these uh chat messages. You're here to meet up with. How do you explain these crabs? I'm just trying to have a nice explain day. Explain these crab messages, okay? Crab, you said that you wanted to get in a shell and uh, eventually get a different shell when you grew out of it. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so you said you wanted to get into his shell. What did you mean? Now, you said that you wanted to scuttle along the sea floor uh, and eat small, you know, little fish and bugs and stuff. Now, what did you in coral? Live in like a coral reef. What did you mean by that? I, so I just... I, I just, I was, you, you know, I, um... So you said that you just wanted to be in a shell and then crawl around and snap things with your claws. You said that is you, that, you said that, that appropriate? you said that, <laughs> you think it's appropriate to want to, to crawl up on the beach and pinch people's uh, feet when they uh, come up close to you? You think it's appropriate to tell this to a little krill? <laughs> I didn't know she was a krill. I, th I, did, I thought, I th you know, I thought, I thought... So you went to Plankton's for you and you didn't think you'd run into a krill? How... How did that I do was... so much damage? <laughs> that guy does so much damage. I was just trying to like warn them about you know I was you know I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna warn them. So you think that bringing bringing the krill over to your uh to, to <laughs> bringing a krill into your shell was um into your shell home <laughs> was just warning. Couldn't have done that over the internet. Well, look over there. That's a camera. This is Dateline NBC. So that's how many how many purples do I have? Twenty six. Twenty six. And then the, 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 the crab walks outside and a bunch of dudes with spears like stab him over and over again. <laughs> a bunch of Pacific Islanders get their spears and chuck it at him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the Red Lobster documentary. That's a commercial. <laughs> that's like a PETA like anti like Red Lobster thing. Don't kill lobsters. They might be pedophiles. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the plan, here's the plan. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go around the, the first world, the first overworld, and we're just gonna... You do that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get all 70 of those shards. Yeah, you do that. Damon, how would you feel if you go home one day, and then you're, and, 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 uh, and, uh, Amanda just starts, like, 
twitching. She's like freaking out, and you're like, "Mom, mom, what's happening?" And then, uh, and then like she just turns demon mode. She goes sicko mode. Like no, she turns into like an actual like demon. She goes goblin mode. Yeah. God, fuck. How what would you do? Fuck. Would you kill your mom? Fuck. <laughs> dude, I think you'd have to kill your mom at that point. Fuck. Dude, dude. what would you do if your mom's necklace was like twice as long? Fuck. And she looks like a Kevin Owen. I thought you were gonna say camel for a second. <laughs> camel! That's better. That's where he got the name! God damn it. Camel knowing. Camel knowing. That bastard can't keep getting away with it. So we got a, um, so we got a, an army of uh, furry people who live on this, uh, this, uh, this uh, forest planet. What are we gonna call them? We're gonna call them Meatwalks because they walk. Because they. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very genius, yeah, that. Because they don't walk on, like, all fours like a normal animal would. They walk on their hind legs. See, Aiden, how hard is it to kill a fucking crab? How hard is it to kill those, a fucking those crab? Those crabs have better AI, better weapons. The crabs are getting stronger, they're getting mightier. If we let them continue, they're gonna take over the world, right? No, everyone's underestimated the crabs, but I've been saying since day one. They've already taken over the sea world. How long is it till they take over the real world, right? Taking over the sea world, how long till they take over the land world? Aiden, if you got drafted to go to crab war, what would you do? <laughs> would you dodge it? Would you dodge the draft, or would you go and fight for your people? I think I could fight. Are they like, are they like normal-sized crabs or like human-sized crabs? They're like, yeah, they're, they're normal-sized crabs, but they've got like little spears and armor and stuff. Yeah, I'd go to Crab War. There's like a lot of them though. Would you use I'd, your, I'd fight like stat, they like poke your feet with their little, little cool spears. On them? Yeah, my, my, my classic shotgun. Speaking of speaking of that, my classic shotgun. Lorenzo fucking hates that joke apparently. Your classic shotgun? Yeah. Why? He's like, it's fucking stupid. I've never heard of this. I've, ne I've never heard of this. This 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 this, 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 this makes no sense. This is illogical. I'm like, I've had a shotgun forever. <laughs> like, I I don't I don't talk about it with you. You know, I talk about it with my other friends. I don't talk about it with you. <laughs> it's just one of those things where I, I just think it's really funny how he gets super upset over my, my classic <laughs> shotgun. My iconic Aiden Taylor shotgun. I just think it's kind of funny that, like, that's your only, like, actual, like, gun, right? Yeah. The one that you own? Yeah. That we know of. I like how that's the one you own and not, like, a handgun first. Yeah, my dad owns a handgun. Well, you can't have a... Well, we, you, you, and a shotgun. You're allowed to have a shotgun earlier than you are allowed to have a handgun. Are you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I believe that. Because Why? I, because you can it's... conceal carry a handgun. You can't take a, you can't take a shotgun or like a rifle out in public. Well, you can, but. Well, you can't like carry it on you. You, you can, can like, like have you, it in your car. You, no, you can carry it on you. Can you? We learned that during the pandemic. Remember, people just fucking carried AKs and fucking shotguns at the subway and started ordering. That, see, that seems. And, and nobody fucking stopped them. Seems that seems excessive. Yeah, it does. And everybody's like, "You can't do that." It's like, well, it's my Second Amendment right. I don't know why, but these bottles are fucking breaking my game. <laughs> right. You break the shards. You break the frames. You break my balls. You're breaking my balls. But like, yeah, you can you can open carry like shotguns and stuff. It's not recommended. Hmm. I know. Uh, well, regardless of why, you you can only get, you, you can get like a rifle or a shotgun first. It might depend on the state. I don't know about shotgun, but you can definitely get like a rifle before you can get a handgun. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I feel like a shot or like a handgun is like. I don't know, just like less less dangerous. In, in Texas, you can get a bazooka at like 14, I think. <laughs> I mean, what would Cleveland know. Brown say? He'd, he'd say, he'd say Loretta's mother died. That's what he would say. <laughs> <laughs> but Loretta's was his wife. It was. Who the fuck is Loretta's mom? Well, La she Loretta, died, so. Loretta's mother died. Goddamn, this You're not caught up on your Family Guy rule war? You don't remember the Loretta's mother's funeral episode? What if I sent you a like a, a best score video? I don't want of a, that of a woman getting crushed by like a bunch of bathtubs, but it was playing the Cleveland show thing. Would you laugh? Oh wait, something I did find something like that. God That's damn something. it! Why the? Of, of course you like. Oh, I fucking. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as fucking. I still don't want to see that. No, no, no. Let me explain it. I don't have. To, you don't have to look at it. Let me pitch it to you. All right, so I found this video from Imagine if you would. from an account on Instagram called Discover Our Nature, and uh, the caption is a uh, truck filled with cows falls off bridge, and it looks kind of goofy. You want to look at it? 
Is it real? Yeah. No? It's not dead. It's not, it's, there's no blood. It's no blood. It's like, it's like Looney Tunes. And look at the song that's playing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and uh, if you go in the comments, the person's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put this song on there. <laughs> <laughs> you can right, change guys. it. Is it, like, wait, is it like an Instagram song or is it like actually on the video? It's on the video. Okay. Alright guys, super... here we're fighting the guy now. What the fuck is he holding? A lock. A bike lock? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the shell splitter. Dude, this guy's like badass. Cool optional boss. This is Aiden's uh, Steam profile picture. Did you get a whoppa? 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 Aiden, what do you want to stop playing, dude? <laughs> when are you gonna fucking turn this shit off? Fuck you guys. Let me enjoy this game. Did you get a whoppa? Did you get a whoppa? The only thing I'm enjoying is a full English on the tube. Blokes, blokes eating a full English on the tube. Not even watching the telly, eh? Aiden, if your dad was driving you to school one morning and he was eating a full English, what would you do? I would love... I like the image of someone driving their car and they have like a plate and they're like, like scrambled eggs and shit in their lap and they're eating. They're like eating at stoplights and stuff? They're like quickly like, yeah, cutting, like cutting stuff and eating it. Whoa! Whoa. You tell me this game was scary. He did the silly face at you, he did peekaboo. First try. Dude, I just remembered a funny thing I, uh, I, Holy grill, dude. I, I, did to, I did to one of my co-workers. Hmm. I went up to them one time, I was like, Tommy, whatever you do, do not play peekaboo with Parm. Guys, look, I can get a thousand micro for that. Dude, where do you sell all this cool stuff? I don't from? know, Damien, okay? I was just asking, you pointed it out, like, you could get them, so I was I just don't wondering. I freaking because... know, dude. I, I said, don't play peekaboo with Parm. And then Tommy immediately looked me in the eye and walked up to Parm and said, Peekaboo. And then Parm looked at him at him with like a dead face. He did not look amused. <laughs> he didn't even acknowledge him and he just kept talking with the, the person he was talking to. And then this Tommy looked really embarrassed and I said, I told you not to do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that would fucking happen, dude. You didn't fucking listen to me, though. He looked really mad. So I was, what would you do? Same story with the dog and everything, but replace it with a shark. How would you feel? My room? Yeah. Is there water in my room, or no. is it dead? No, no. It's like flopping around. Uh, I'd get the rusty sword that I have on my wall and slice it open. <laughs> You'd hold its entrails above your head and like do a cool like battle cry. I feel like I tell- I feel like- if I, if I killed an animal like a shark somehow, no matter how weird that is, I don't know if I'd tell you guys because I feel like you guys would get mad at me for killing a shark. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, you guys would be like, why the fuck did you kill the shark? It was, you should have put it in the water. It's, like, it's a fucking shark. You could have filled your bathtub up and put the shark in the bathtub. I probably couldn't have at that time. I fucking probably would Yeah, I could have, but I didn't. I know, I couldn't have. <laughs> no way, my plumbing wouldn't allow it. It leak everywhere. You can't put a- wait, you put- you, so, you can't fill up a bathtub? So basically what happened was like all my drainage stuff was fucked up. So if you- if you shuffle a bunch of water into like any place, like turn on the faucets or something for a long period of time, it would basically start flooding the area a bit, and it was kind of fucked up. And uh, if it was that day, yeah, I, I would be like, I have to flood the whole bathroom for the sake of the shirt. Are you sure your pipes aren't just clogged? Well, they were. Oh. Everything was fucked up, and we just got it fixed like two days ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I would let the shark die, and I'd probably collect its teeth, because I like shark teeth. Which is, it sounds sadistic, but I don't think you guys would do any better. I'd hey. put them in the bathtub. Okay, but here? Okay, I don't have a bathtub here. <laughs> so what would you do? You'd have to let it die. I'd throw it out the window, let someone else figure it out. <laughs> See, you'd still kill it. You'd still actively kill it. What would you, what would you do, Aiden? It's in, it's, in, it's in your house now. I don't know, man. Put him in, in with the lobster, I don't know. <laughs> Aiden <laughs> lobster. You know, you know the, I'm glad that we landed on the lobster in the thing, in, in the in the tank thing, because I was just gonna about to derail that before you even said that and say it's Aiden's dad in the... in the... in the fish tank around. He's <laughs> doing backstrokes. <laughs> what? If you got the golden ticket and um, and uh, you you were eating a big Kit Kat bar and you looked inside the wrapper and there was the golden ticket in there, but instead of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, it was um, <laughs> it, it it was a ticket to Slow Stroke Inc. Who'd you go? 
Hell yeah, dude. So much fun being. Too. Too late. I'd, I'd pick Caden and go with me. <laughs> Like Ashley's jealous. We're, like, we're going to slow stroking. It's like, dude, this is fucking stupid. No, I think Kate would love that shit, dude. It's like, oh, dude, I've always wanted to go there, dude. Dude, how'd you know, man? You know what that reminded me of? Huh? There's a whole episode of Rick and Morty where uh, Morty uses a uh, the, the machines that they use to get sperm out of horses. He fucks oh that thing. Oh my god, yeah. And then, and then his sperm turns into like fucking giant monster, alien monsters. What like, will they think And then there's a next? giant incest baby. Yeah, that's right. It's like, alright, the only way to make them go away is by put, um, getting a giant egg for them to all like uh, be like attracted to like a giant light. To, like insects. And then one of them, uh, it, it was Summer's that uh, giant enlarged egg and it made a giant baby. What will they think of next? Can't feel bad for him anymore. How do you pitch that idea in the writer's room? Dude, I would love a good brick right now.